Here's a question on significant figures and rounding. Now this is a very unusual question, I've not seen one like this uh, before on a GCSE paper, so it's unlikely to appear in this format again, although you never know. So you've got a number that's been rounded to three significant figures, then two significant figures, and the final answer is 230. What was the smallest number I could have first thought of? So if we start with 230 and work our way backwards, this has been rounded um, from three significant figures to two significant figures. So we're rounding to the nearest 10. So the smallest it could have been was 225. That would round up to 230. Now, this is always a bone of contention. The largest value that the boundary comes along at is 235. Now, we should say that it's going to be less than or e it's going to be less than 235, but it could be equal to 225. So, it could have come it could have been rounded from there to 230. Now for this number itself, if this is rounded to three significant figures, because there's three significant figures there, then this could have been at the minimum 224.5, because that's the smallest number that would round to 225 when you were looking at three significant figures. And the largest it could have been was 225, well, less than 225.5. So, um, there's your answer, 224.5. Um, they do accept the answer 224.49 recurring, where the 9 recurs. Um, and if you only got um, 225 written down, you would have got one mark for them just seen that on the exam paper. Or if somewhere between these two, you've got a value where you've got something uh, 2 to something 0.5, that would give you a mark so long as it's less than 230. So 225. 5.5 to do 6.5 something like that that would give you a method mark